This video explains how to display large numbers separated by a comma using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data object that we can create in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called X is appearing at the top right. And this data object contains the number 10 million. So now let's assume that we want to print this number to the RStudio console. Then we can run line three of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that this number was converted to scientific notation. And for that reason, the number is displayed as 1e plus 07. Now let's assume that we want to display this number instead without scientific notation and separate it by commas. Then we can apply the pretty num function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the name of our data object. Then we need to specify the big dot mic argument to be equal to a comma. And we need to specify the scientific argument to be equal to false. So after running line five of the code, you can see that another output is returned, which shows our number without scientific notation and separated by commas. Please note that this output is formatted as a character string, so this value is not considered as a numeric data object anymore. Alternatively to the pretty num function, we can also use the format function, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the format function, we would have to specify exactly the same input as in case of the pretty num function. So if you run line seven of the code, the same output is returned. However, this time we have used the format function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.